So we now have uh, five three-minute spotlight talks. Um, we're not going to give introductions to each of these speakers, so we'll just let them introduce themselves. Can the first speaker come up, please? I trust you know who you are. Yeah, maybe the other speakers, if you can get ready, get close to the podium. Okay, when you're ready. Hello, everyone. I'm Amir Abdi, a researcher from the University of British Columbia in the beautiful city of Vancouver. So uh, we had like two kinds of investigations. One was whether we can generate 3D shapes using like create deterministic mapping between a dense representation of a shape and its full anatomy. And we went on and created like a 3D deconvolutional neural network where we tried to train whether we can learn a mapping between coordinates of some landmarks on the surface of the shape and use the neural network to create like a 3D binary occupancy map of that shape. This was like a pilot project of ours to make sure that such approach is like basically feasible or not. Uh, after this, we kind of wondered whether our model is generalizable enough, so we did some experiments to make sure that we, we can linearly interpolate in the dense space and generate corresponding meaningful, meaningful uh, anatomies in the shape space, which worked fine, so we moved on to our main project, which was shape completion. And in terms of shape completion, basically what we wonder is that if we have this shape and we remove part of it, can we train a model to complete the shape for us? Uh, the thing is that if we train such model deterministically, we are basically uh, ignoring or not addressing the fact that shape completion is a, like a one to many uh, problem, meaning that there is no unique solution that completes this shape for us. As a result of this, and to address this one, we created a, like a conditional a variational autoencoder approach where we considered multiple targets as potential completions for a given shape, uh, in which we like try to encode the latent or the like posterior latent distribution of the shape and the target together and consider that during our shape completion approach. Uh, a small thing I would like you to like take out of this presentation is that in case you try to do shape completion, just keep in mind that your objective function towards which you're trying to like optimize. Your objective function should include the target shape, meaning the missing part of the anatomy, as well as the rest of the shape so that you can create like a smooth, a smooth transition between the part you're trying to complete and the rest of the shape which you don't care about. Uh, these are some of our qualitative results. Uh, you can see just how well our models work in the uh, in our like domain of problem, which is like mandibles, but this is just the application of our approach. Thank you. <laughs>